this Christmas might feel strangely different. But it's still a timeless truth for everyone across the world, whether far away or close to home. There'll be new memories to make and old memories to tell, laughter to share with family, friends or neighbours, little ones, big ones, even furry ones. <laughs> There'll be presents we give and blessings we share. <laughs> Generous tables, crackers to pull, and empty places for those not with us. Some who are gone forever, and some who are just not able to travel. We'll have eyes filled with tears and hearts with love, whether there'll be arms around us or chats around screens, giggles on phones. <laughs> We'll still have trees to set up and cards to write. Calendars to open and carols to sing. Candles to light, prayers to say. And the greatest story of all, with light from the stable and the Christ child promising. Comfort and joy for everyone this special Christmas time. Good morning everyone and welcome to our service of Holy Communion for this the fourth Sunday of Advent. As always everything you need can be found on our Benefice website including the service sheet and this week's pew sheet. For our Christmas services please do check the website for the latest information on all the services online and in person. So let us take this time to be still and prepare ourselves to come before God in worship and in praise. And so we begin our service with our opening hymn.
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. So we say together our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Heavenly Father, you exalted the humble and meek. Give us humble and contrite hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you grew towards birth in the virgin's womb. Be planted now in our hearts and lives. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you overshadowed Mary that she might become the God-bearer. Fill us with your heavenly gifts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who in Jesus Christ has given us a kingdom that cannot be destroyed, forgive you your sins and open your eyes to God's truth. Strengthen you to do God's will and give you the joy of his kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So if you have a candle or an Advent wreath at home, you might like to join me now and light uh, your fourth candle. we mark our journey through Advent to Christmas and this prayer for the fourth Sunday of Advent. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, merciful and gentle. To you be praise and glory forever. Your light has shone in our darkened world through the childbearing of Blessed Mary. Grant that we, who have seen your glory, may daily be renewed in your image and prepared like her for the coming of your Son, who is the Lord and Saviour of all. Blessed be God forever. And the Collect for today. God, our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be your the mother of your son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Our New Testament reading comes from Paul's letter to the Romans. Now to God, who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, 
to whom be glory forever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Gospel reading. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing is impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. O oh Christ. So we affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. Let us pray for grace to prepare for the coming of the Lord. 
fill the church with the power of the Holy Spirit announced to Mary. May the faith of her response be granted to all Christian people. May they be open to hear and obey the calling of God. Draw the nations of the world into the kingdom of the Messiah, that those who hold authority may use it for the good of all. May the divine power overshadow the places of strife and bring them peace. Bless us, our families, friends and neighbours, as we make ready for the holy time of Christmas. Bless especially all the families in this community who are expecting the birth of a child and bring them the joy of new life. Have mercy on all who are perplexed and troubled, uncertain where their lives are leading. Give them assurance that God, to whom all things are possible, is very close to them in their need. We pray for the departed, who heard and tried to follow the command of God in this world, and have now come to fullness of life in him. We rejoice that they praise him with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. We pray in the name of Christ, the Son of the Most High. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son, he is the one foretold by all the prophets whom the Virgin Mary bore with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist was his herald and made him known when at last he came. In his love, Christ fills us with joy as we prepare to celebrate his birth so that when he comes again, he may find us watching in prayer, our hearts filled with with praise and wonder. And so with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy One, enthroned in splendour and light. Yet, in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, 
you reveal the power of your love made perfect in our human weakness. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation, loving us to the end. He gave himself to death for us, dying for his own. He set us free from the bonds of sin, that we might rise and reign with him in glory. On the night he gave himself for us all, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection is bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high and we long for his coming in glory. As we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Look with favour on your people and in your mercy hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free and fill your church with power from on high. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with all your saints at the table in your kingdom, where the new creation is brought to perfection in Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words which our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread.
draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. And together. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. And so I receive this communion on behalf of us all, as we join together in spiritual communion, one body in Christ. Heavenly Father, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of the promised Saviour, fill us, your servants, with your grace, that in all things we may embrace your holy will, and with her rejoice in your salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And now we have our closing hymn.
May God the Father, judge all merciful, make us worthy of a place in his kingdom. Amen. May God the Son, coming among us in power, reveal in our midst the promise of his glory. Amen. May God the Holy Spirit make us steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and constant in love. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst with you and remain with you and those you love and pray for this day and forevermore. Amen. As we await our coming Saviour, stay at home in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.